Wadsworth, Illyria, and St. Ignatius tonight on Academic Challenge. Academic Challenge is brought to you by Westfield Insurance. And now, here's the host of Academic Challenge, Jason Nicholas. Hello, good evening. I'm Jason Nicholas, and welcome to Academic Challenge. The challenge is simple. Tonight, these three teams will compete for points by answering questions covering math, science, history, and other topics. First, though, let's take a look at our team standings because in only three weeks, the top three scoring teams will return for our championship showdown. But these points are very important for another reason. Westfield Insurance will grant $20,000 to the top 10 schools that compete this season on Academic Challenge. Now, let's get started with our opening match. It is the lightning round. In this round, all three teams compete. We award 10 points for a correct answer. We will subtract 10 points for an incorrect or no answer. We start each team tonight with 100 points. Here we go. With housing so much in the news, let's take a look at some houses, real and fictional. The White House was first occupied by this second president, St. Ignatius. John Adams. John Adams. Is right. This house titles a novel by Charles Dickens. Ignatius. Bleak House. That is right. According to Lincoln, a house divided against itself cannot do what? Wadsworth. Stand. Stand is right. The House of Commons and this other house make up Britain's Lord. St. Ignatius. House of Lords. Lords is right. You buy houses and hotels when playing Ignatius. Monopoly. This board game, Monopoly, is right. He wrote the House of Seven Gables in the Scarlet Ignatius. Nathaniel Hawthorne. That is right. He wrote the house at Pooh Corner and Winnie the Pooh, Illyria. Simon and Garfunkel. Hmm. Nathaniel Hawthorne is the right answer. Oh, no, I'm, excuse, excuse me, A.A. A. A. Milne. Hawthorne was the uh, previous answer. Milne is the right answer. Virginia's colonial legislature was known as this house. Illyria. House of Burgesses. That is right. She wrote Uncle Tom's Cabin. Ignatius. Harry Beecher Stowe. That is correct. For our final lightning round question, let's go over to Todd Arrington from the James A. Garfield National Historic Site. Though in his later years, President James A. Garfield lived in comfort here in this house, commonly referred to as Lawn Field. He was born in 1831 in what type of simple dwelling, commonly associated with Abraham Lincoln? Ignatius. Log cabin. A log cabin is right. Well done. That does it for our opening round. We'll return. We'll meet the three teams as academic challenge continues. Just like anything can happen in the game you're about to watch, anything can happen in life. That's why there's Westfield Insurance. Our employees and agency partners are here for you when the unexpected happens. Help put the pieces back together and give you peace of mind. In addition to high school quiz shows, we support programs like teen driver safety and community involvement. The bottom line is that we value what you value. So thanks for tuning in. Now let's watch these sharp young minds compete in what's sure to be an exciting match. Judge from Cuyahoga Community College is John Schmidt, Assistant Professor of Nursing. Welcome back to Academic Challenge. Thanks for watching us tonight. Now it is time for our Mix It Up round here. The questions were 20 points. No penalty for an incorrect answer. If a team answers all six questions right, they'll receive those very important 25 bonus points. First, let's take some time, learn a little bit more about Team 1. Wadsworth, located in Medina County, Wadsworth High School, serves approximately 1,700 students and is a AAA district excelling in academics, arts, and athletics. Wadsworth has been recognized as an excellent with distinction school district for the last 10 years while maintaining the lowest cost per pupil expenditure in Medina County. In the fall of 2012, the Wadsworth City schools proudly cut the ribbon on their new high school and community center, the first of its kind, under the Ohio School Facilities Commission. Bob is the captain of Wadsworth. Bob's a member of student council. Tell us more. Yes, I have also been playing the violin for seven years, and I'm the founder of the math club. Uh, I'd like to thank our advisor, Mr. Schoonover. Uh, he wasn't able to make it today, but our alternates were. All right, terrific. Over to Sarah. Sarah, you're involved in the Christian Club. Tell us more about Sarah. Yes, um, after high school, I plan on going to college to study um, linguistics, aviation, and theology to become a missionary pilot. Oh, fantastic. Lauren, over to you, involved in Big Brothers Big Sisters. Yes, after I graduate, I plan to study special education, and I'd like to thank our principal, Mr. Wright, who brought us here today. 
All right, terrific. Sarah, Bob, Lauren Wadsworth, these questions just for you. Whether or not Stephen sings, you see if you can find here the hidden name of what planet second from the sun? Venus. Venus is right. Which of these phrases would be best described? Something that is inconspicuous. Not noticeable. That is right. Don't scare anybody here. Just rearrange the letters in this phrase today in what, 1770? Boston incident that left five colonists dead and moved the country closer to revolution. Massacre. That is right. These were the Italian and German names of what ineffectual international peacekeeping organization that preceded the UN? League of Nations. That is right. All three of these G initialed countries belong to the UN, but which one is not in Africa, but in South America? Guyana. That is right. 25 bonus points possible here for Wadsworth. This is the meaning of the name of what southern peninsula or Ponce de Leon looked for the fountain of youth. It's now our sunshine state. Florida. 25 bonus points. <laughs> Wadsworth. Nicely done there, guys. All right, team two tonight is Illyria with over 1,900 students located in Lorraine County. Illyria was built in 1894 and was the first chartered high school west of the Allegheny Mountains. Wow, its mission in collaboration with staff, students, parents, and the community is to ensure that each student is engaged in diverse academic and social opportunities set by high expectations and clear goals to promote growth, self-discipline, and responsibility. Activities include German Club Mock Trial, NHS, along with a variety of athletics. Illyria's captain is Kurt. Kurt is uh, involved in the President's Club. Tell us more. Well, we meet with our, with our uh, principal to discuss current topics on what we can improve and uh, what we're doing right. I, I want to go to Ohio State to uh, study physics eventually. All right, terrific. Over to Isaiah. Isaiah, you're in the marching band. Tell us more about Isaiah. I'm a sophomore at O'Leary High, and I also play trombone in the jazz band. All right, terrific. Over to Hannah. Hannah is the VP of the French Club. Tell us about Hannah. I'm a senior. I'm planning on attending the Honors Tutorial College of Ohio University next year for astrophysics. I'd like to thank our alternates, Jessica Gogan and Jeff Emilio, for being here with us today. Terrific. A future Bobcat. Okay, Elyria, these questions just for you. You won't need any aspirin here if you can find in this sentence the name of what Texas city where John F. Kennedy was shot. Dallas? Yes, a person who is malicious can also be described by which of these? Malicious. Spiteful. That is correct. See if you can find the key to this anagram and rearrange the letters to name the Eurasian country that includes Ankara and Istanbul. Turkey. Turkey. Turkey is right. These are two social classes of the caste system associated with what religion dominant in India? Hinduism. Hinduism. Hinduism is correct. In some studies of hearing loss, much attention has been paid to which of these structures in the inner ear. Conclea? Yeah, cochlea is right. 25 bonus points possible here, Illyria. This is the meaning of the name of what powerful Viking chief who discovered Greenland. He was called the Red. Eric. Eric. Leif Erikson? No. Ooh, Eric the Red is correct. Well done, though, Illyria. Tough one there. All right, team three tonight is St. Ignatius, founded in 1886. St. Ignatius is a four-year Jesuit high school for boys with over 1,400 students and located in the west side Cleveland neighborhood of Ohio City. The school has a 17-acre campus. While the school's artistic, academic, and athletic programs earn world-renowned faith formation resides at the core of its mission with a tradition of academic excellence, unparalleled athletics, a distinctive arts program, and unique service opportunities. The school continues continues to be a regional and national leader in Jesuit Catholic education. John is the captain of St. Ignatius. John, you play the saxophone. Tell us more. I play the saxophone in the jazz band, and I also, I'm also a member of the Paul Bears group. I'd like to thank our advisor, uh, Mr. Barker. Okay, very good. Over to Raphael. You play the flute. Tell us more about yourself. I also play the piccolo, and I'm in the Magic the Gathering Club. I'd like to shout out for our parents. Uh, thank you for all you've done for us. Okay, terrific. Over to Phil. Phil's involved in the Latin and Greek club. Tell us more about Phil. Yes, and I'm also the captain of the varsity bowling team, and I'd like to thank our alternates, Al Squared. <laughs> A couple of Al's in the audience. Very good. St. Ignatius, gentlemen, these questions just for you. Hidden in this uh, philosophical question is what name given to six kings of England? George. Is right. If you were suffering from remorse, which of these would be your problem? Guilt. Guilt. That is right. This might sound like the home of a spider, but the letters can be rearranged in a more official language spoken in Israel. Hebrew. 
Hebrew. Hebrew is right. These two men gained world fame in different fields. Both, though, were natives of what same Eastern European country? Poland. Poland is right. Of these elements of your blood, which one plays a major role in destroying bacteria? White corpuscles. That is right. 25 bonus points possible here, St. Ignatius. This is the literal meaning of what Greek name that identifies a nymph who pinned away for love of Narcissus so that only her voice remained. Echo. 25 bonus points for St. Ignatius. Well done. Okay, coming up after this, we'll have our grab background. Stay with us. I'm Janie Geis of Wicker Insurance, a Westfield partner, bringing you the sharing knowledge, building trust question of the week. What grade point average will generally earn students a discount on their car insurance? For the answer and a chance to win an iPad mini, visit westfieldinsurance.com slash academic challenge. Challenge before we begin our next round. Let's recap our scores so far tonight. Third place, 200 points, Illyria. Second place, 255, Wadsworth. 315, though, in the lead, St. Ignatius. Now it's time for the picture perfect round. Got ahead of myself, not the grab bag round. That's coming up in a couple of segments. Each correct answer here is worth 10 points, but a wrong or no answer will cost 10 points. All three teams are playing here. Hands on your buzzers, eyes on the monitor. Here we go. The title of Rousseau painting refers to what season of the year that is ushered in by the vernal equinox? Ignatius. Autumn. Spring. This Australian cottage was once home of what 18th century British sea captain who was later killed by Hawaiian natives? Illyria. Cook. Cook is right. In 1950, the survival of the first whooping crane born in captivity was celebrated by what bird watching society? Named for a 19th century Wadsworth? Audubon Society. That is right. Assuming that X does not equal negative one. What is the value here? Ignatius. One. One. One is right. This is George Caleb Bingham's 1845 painting of fur traders descending. What major tributary of the Mississippi River? Wadsworth. Ohio River. The Missouri River. The town of Belém was built centuries ago to defend the harbor of what city? The capital of Portugal. Ignatius. Lisbon. Lisbon is right. Here you see tiger lilies, flowers that gave their name to an Indian princess in what classic children's story by J. M. Bari? Wadsworth. Peter Pan. Peter Pan is right. This Cleveland Magazine issue told of the artist famous for creating what cartoon mascot for a local radio station? A bird who faithfully returns to Hinkley every March 15th. The buzzard. The buzzard in my hometown of Hinkley. Correct. St. Ignatius, well done. That is the end of the round. Be back more AC right after this. Welcome our team advisors tonight from Elyria, Jeremy C. Carr and Matt Daniels. From St. Ignatius, John Barker. And Wadsworth, Roger Wright. Time to get back in the way now. Hot picks, one at a time. I'll ask each teammate questions. The correct responses were 20 points. There is no penalty for a wrong answer. So, guess away. Any team going 8 for 8 will receive those very important 25 bonus points. First, let's take some time uh, and get started with Wadsworth. But we go over to Kurt. Kurt from Elyria. 1, 2, 3, or 4, 4, Wadsworth. 2. Envelope number two for Wadsworth. These questions just for you. Known as the abolitionist poet, John Greenleaf Whittier was of what same socially conscious religion as William Penn? Quakers. Quakers, correct. To reduce injuries to players, the standard bowling ball may not weigh more than how many pounds equal to the number of ounces in one pound? 16. Is right. The Aztec Indians gargled with mixtures containing what metallic element whose chemical symbol is CU? Copper. That's right. To the monitor science question, the total force exerted by a liquid on the bottom of a beaker is dependent on two of these factors. Which one is the exception? The glass composition of the beaker. That is right. What 1894 federal tax was referred to as socialism, communism, and devilism and was unconstitutional until the passage of the 16th Amendment? 
Income tax? Income tax is right. It would have been appropriate if Ralph Ellison had used Disappearing Ink to write what novel for which he is best known? Uh, Invisible Man. Invisible Man is right to the monitor your math question. What is the average of these three numbers right here? 16. The average is 16, correct. 25 bonus points possible here, Wadsworth. In Alaska, March 30th has been set aside as a legal holiday to honor what Secretary of State who engineered the purchase of Alaska? Seaward. 25 bonus points. <laughs> Seaward, Seward, correct. Well done, Wadsworth. Team two, Illyria. We go over to John from Ignatius. John, what will it be? One, three, or four? Four. Envelope number four, four. Illyria, again, no need to buzz in these questions just for you. The world's 10 highest mountains are located in different countries, but all of them on what continent? Asia. Asia is right. Ta taking up over half a million square miles of Canadian territory is the large bay named for what 17th century explorer? Hudson. Hudson. Hudson is right. A grammatical institute of the English language was the first book published by what American who in 1827 compiled our nation's first standard dictionary? Webster. Webster. Noah Webster is right to the monitor your science question. Rigidity of young herbaceous plants such as lettuce is due to which of these? Woody tissue? Turger pressure. Though the Rhine River is associated with Germany, it has its source at what small Alpine country whose largest city is Zurich? Switzerland. Switzerland. That is right. A book of poems attacking Napoleon III was just one of the many literary works of what 19th century French author who wrote Les Miserables? Hugo. Hugo. Victor Hugo is right to the monitor for your math question. Evaluate this expression here. You guys have an answer. Eight. Twelve. The first time the Supreme Court declared a federal law unconstitutional was in the case of Marbury versus what man later became our fourth president. Madison. Madison is right. Well done, Illyria. Good job there. A couple of tough questions. All right, let's wrap it up with Ignatius. We go back over to Wadsworth. Bob, we've got one or three for St. Ignatius. Let's give them one. Let's give them one. Gentlemen of St. Ignatius, these questions only for you. Let's start. One endangered species sometimes endangers another. Snow geese are occasionally attacked by what protected species that is our national bird? Bald eagle. Bald eagle. Bald eagle is right. A book about World War II battles in North Africa is titled An Army at what early time of day? Mentioned in the first line of our national anthem. Dawn. Dawn is correct. The year 1941 marked the completion of the four presidential faces on, faces on Mount Rushmore. Now the biggest tourist attraction in what state capital is Pierre? South Dakota. South Dakota is right. To the bottom of your science question, which of these terms refers to the cooling of a liquid below its freezing point without freezing taking place? Super cooling. Super cooling is right. Patrick Henry's doctor probably shortened Henry's life when he prescribed what poisonous metal, the only metal liquid at room temperature. Mercury. Mercury is right. What number expressed as 10 to the third power plus one equals the number of Arabian Nights? 1001. 1001 to the monitor for your math question. Solve for N. 24. Yes, of course. 24. George Meade won the Battle of Gettysburg. But what other general named George commanded Union forces at the Battle of Antietam in, 19, in 1862 for 25 bonus points? McClellan. 25 bonus points for St. Ignatius. Puts them in the commanding lead. Now the grab background is up right after this. Stay close. Back to Academic Challenge. Before we continue, let's recap the score so far tonight. In third place with 330 points, we have Illyria. Second place for 50 Wadsworth in the lead tonight, heading into the grab bag round. Three weeks out of our championship, 520 St. Ignatius. Now it is time for the grab bag round. This is a free for all. Each correct answer is worth 20 points, but a team will lose 20 for a wrong or no answer. Also, some visual questions here, plus or minus 30. Again, this is for all three teams, for everyone. Hands on your buzzers. Our grab bag round begins. Now, the most popular breed of dog in the U.S. is the Retriever, named for what Canadian province, Wadsworth? 
uh, Newfoundland. Labrador, the first U.S. president to be born in a hospital and not at a home, was what, 39th, elected in 1976, Ignatius? Carter. Carter is right. To reduce your cholesterol, some doctors recommend you eat two to five cloves a week of what onion-like plant, Ignatius? Garlic. Garlic is right. To the monitor, you can enjoy this scenery if you visit the Georgia County, sharing its name with what Georgia woman who wrote the color purple, Ignatius? Walker. Walker. Walker's right. Verdi's opera, Nabucco is based on a story about what ancient king who built the hanging gardens in Babylon, Ignatius? Nebuchadnezzar. That is right. What is the area of a square whose diagonal is 10? Wadsworth. 25. 50. F. Scott Fitzgerald attended but did not graduate from what Ivy League University in New Jersey? Illyria. Princeton. Is right. To the monitor. This phrase was coined by what Republican president? who faced a rugged stock market crash in 1929. Ignatius. Hoover. Hoover is right. The Hollywood writers and actors denied work for political reasons during the Cold War were said to be on what list with a somber name? Wazareth? Blacklist. Blacklist is right. Choice, the atomic weight or atomic mass of the most common isotope of helium atom is two, three, or four. Wazareth. Four. Four is right. What author's recent books, Divergent, Allegiant, and Insurgent, have all made bestsellers lists? Wadsworth? Roth. Roth is right. To the monitor, the rainforest here makes up most of what African country was settled by freed slaves in 1822. Ignatius. Liberia. Liberia is right. U.S. Senators have read pages out of the phone book when engaging in what long-winded, delaying tactical area? Filibuster. Filibuster is right. If the Great Pyramid of Giza were inscribed with what, with the name of the pharaoh responsible for its construction, what name would appear on it? Illyria. Khufu. Khufu is right. What 19th century Kentucky senator was known as the great compromiser, partly for Illyria? Clay. Henry Clay. According to Homer, King Priam had 50 sons, including what man who abducted Helen of Troy? Ignatius. Paris. Paris is right. Under the Truman Doctrine, U.S. aid enabled Turkey to withstand Russia's demand for control of what strait? Once known as the Hellas Point, Illyria. The Bosporus. No, the Dardanelles, a missionary family, is the focus of what Barbara King Solver novel about life in the Belgian Congo? Ignatius? Heart of Darkness? Poisonwood Bible. Composer Rimsky Karaskov insisted that the musical key of E major be equivalent to what shade of blue, which also names a gemstone in the hard conundrum? Uh, Ignatius? Sapphire? Sapphire's right. You'd think that the U.S. Naval Academy would have a fish as its mascot, but the Academy mascot is actually what barnyard, Ignatius? Midshipman. The goat. A doctor named Simon Bernard was among the first surgeons who successfully removed from patients what vestigial part of the large intestine? Ignatius? Appendix. Appendix is right. George Washington was described as first in war. Can't finish the question. The buzzer means the game is over. Let's take a look at our final standings tonight. In third place, 390 points, Illyria. Second place, 470, Wadsworth. And getting into our top three, 690 points. Standing at number two, actually, we have St. Ignatius. Well done, gentlemen. Hey, join us next week. We'll feature teams from Ashland, Lakeside, and St. Edward. I'm Jason Nichols. We'll see you next week for another edition of Academic Challenge. Good night, everybody. Academic Challenge has been brought to you by Westfield Insurance.